So this is the unboxing and review of the Critical Cycles bicycle, which I bought off of Amazon.com. Um, on Amazon Prime, it's $1.99 delivered. Uh, I actually ordered this guy on, I think, uh, Friday night. And um, they told me it shipped yesterday, Sunday. And it was originally scheduled to be delivered on Tuesday, but it came a day early. It's now about 2 o'clock on Monday, and it's already here. So that's exciting. Really quick shipping. I love Amazon. Um, I ordered the black and white model. Um, and so first impressions, here's the box. UPS just dropped it by. Um, really light for, for a bike. Uh, probably about 30 pounds, 20 or 30 pounds with the, the packaging and everything. And um, there's a little bit of damage on the box, so it looks like here where the uh, uh, where the axle from one of the wheels actually busted through the cardboard, but maybe that's more UPS's fault than Critical Cycle's fault. But uh, let's go ahead and open it up. So here it's open. Uh, this looks really good, actually. I'm really excited about this. They said that it comes with all the tools you need to put it together in the box which uh, is a bonus. I mean, I have all the tools anyway, but if they're here in the box, that's, uh, you know, added to the collection. Uh, looks like everything's kind of twisty together, so maybe it all comes out in one go. So I'll go ahead and lift it out. So everything is twisted together. There's a few pieces. Um, the spokes are up inside of the cranks. But it looks like everything is here. Got a front tire. It's the handlebars. Back tire. And this is probably the tools. And a seat post. So everything looks pretty generic, I mean nothing too fancy, but that's why I got the bike. But everything looks nice and clean so far. Um, let's take some of this packaging off and put it together. And this is the piece that was sticking through the box. Um, it actually broke through this plastic protector, which should have been protecting this bolt. But uh, it doesn't look like there's actually any damage to the bike itself, other than some wear right there on the end of that bolt. But uh, let's see. It's, the nut still comes off, so it didn't damage the threads at all. All the packaging is off now. Um, now all the packaging is off. Uh, everything looks clean. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult to put together. Um, there's no instructions that came with it, which I'm fine with. I think you can figure it out. Inside the black box were the pedals, and it looks like the tools we need to put it together. So we'll move this out to the garage, put on a bike stand, and start throwing everything together. Okay, it's up on the bike stand. Uh, it's clamped in. Let's start putting stuff together. Um, I got my tools they gave me. First thing to do, I think, is to put on the handlebar here. Okay, this last part I'm trying to get on is the bracket that holds the brake cable against the uh, top post here. And they're kind of small pieces, so they're a little hard to work with. And uh, this little nut right here, uh, we weren't given a tool that's small enough to, to fit over that. So I grabbed a wrench. It's a uh, 7 uh, 30 seconds, so 7 32. 
seven thirty seconds of an inch. That's the size. Um, and I find that the nut fits into there. And I'll see if I can get this thing on. Okay, so I've heard lots of reviews on the cheaper bikes, Walmart brand, that uh, the hubs come really untrue. So let's take a look at this one. This shipped with the uh, Fixie hub engaged. And you flip it around and you can get the free hub. But uh, looking, I mean, the tire's a little wobbly, but the hub, it does seem... Uh, I can feel a little bit of, of a wobble there. But for the most part, I mean, it seems pretty balanced. So that, uh, that looks really good. I think even better than the back. Okay, so this is a 53 centimeter medium wall. Uh, I've got 5,607. Uh, so it should be just right. I've actually never ridden a Nixcube bike before, so this will be interesting. I'll probably end up switching it around to the free hub. It's uh, 251. We started playing with the bike about two o'clock. So we got it all put together in about 50 minutes. You could probably go a lot faster than that if uh, you were trying. But we kind of took it slow and took some video and such. So now that it's together, let's take a look at the components. Um, first of all, I think it looks really great. The black and white is a really good combination, really simple. Um, the front hub is a uh, Q U A N D O, Quando, K T Tech. Um, so they call it name brand on the website, but I never heard of them before. Uh, it doesn't seem like uh, great quality, but it also doesn't seem like poor quality. I think it'll do just fine. Um, really simple front fork. It feels solid. Um, going up to the handlebars, the grips that come with it are pretty stock. They're just, uh, you know, cheapo style grips, but they feel good and they fit on nice and snug. Um, the stem here, uh, once again, it's pretty nice. It's got the four uh, uh, Allen wrench screws and the two back here, so a lot of adjustment options, and uh, it feels really strong. So does the rest of the handlebar. And down in the crank, uh, let's see if brand that is. Once again, they said it was name brand, but it's uh, another Protex. Never heard of them, but uh, feels all right. And and then what's the uh, let's look at the back brake. Another uh, Pro Max is what they call these. So names I've never heard of, but they don't feel too trashy. Um, there's the free hub. And the fixed gear, which is what it ships with, it's already mounted on. The pedals have this really cheap strap on it, uh, and they're just plastic pedals, so nothing special there. Uh, I'll probably get rid of the strap and uh, maybe replace the pedals too. But that'll do it for now. Okay, so I think that what we got is what we paid for $199 shipped in two days, and what you get is a very simple. Uh, pretty inexpensive bike that uh, I, uh, if the reviews are an indication it should last a while and I am uh, really happy with it just riding it around uh, the parking lot here and the look of it I think it looks great um, and so far everything functions like it should uh, it seems like it's good quality and, and I uh, think $199 is a great price